and social agents in favor of modern state. Now, state is not something unique in human history, state, but modern state is something unique. Because whether it's a liberal state or socialist state or national state, it's a totalizing state. In the sense that, as Hobbes and others have emphasized, in principle, there's nothing which can escape this state. Not just practically, I mean, practically, obviously, state can be stronger or weaker, but theoretically, at, at the level of idea or at the level of ideal or at the level of uh, what is legitimate and what is illegitimate, this state claims for itself absolute, undivided, unlimited, um, and continuous authority and sovereignty. And that is true of liberal state, nationalist state, socialist state. The difference between uh, liberal and socialist and nationalist state is not at the this level of conception or at the level of um, justification or at the level of the essence of that state, but at the level of how this ideal is actually practically uh, operationalized. For example, liberal liberals believe that although a state is state's authority is absolute and unlimited, etc., in practice, in you know, a state. Uh, to rule too much is not to rule at all. So that's that's more like uh, the technology, the question of the technology of government, or the exp expediency of the government, not the question of the nature of the state. On the nature of state, I don't think uh, liberalism, nationalism, uh, socialism are, are much different in 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 that sense. So this is state, and obviously there are exceptions at the practical level, though, but they are always exceptions, and there are freedoms, obviously, depending on the ideology. But those freedoms are freedom given by the state and within its ambit and within its rate and within and those freedoms and the space is created by and ultimately governed by that state. So there's no freedom against that state uh, which it hasn't given itself and it can take those freedom at any time it sees itself threatened, its rule threatened. That's, that's very clear um, in all, um, so in that sense uh, state and Sharia are is a modern state, not a state, and and that's one of the slight, um, uh, one of the, and this is one of um, a large slide of hand that he talks about modern state, but he, I think that's that's what my suspicion is. We will see. So he used state and modern state interchangeably. Uh, although modern state is the exact op opposite of Sharia. So in that sense, Sharia is a state as well. So that's why they can't coexist, because their demands are, uh, as far as the extension of their demands are the same, their intentions are different. Like the content is different of those demands, but the ambit of those demands is the same. That is total life, ad kullu. That's why Malam Madhudi was right to call equate modern state with Adi. And that was his great uh, ishtihad and insight. Um, and I, I don't know whether uh, Imam uh, Shahid uh, Sayyid Qutub got it from Malam Madhudi or he said similar things as well. Um, yeah, that's the uh, so state uh, is. In that sense, exact a modern state is exact opposite of Sharia, and without creating a Sharia-based state, without making Sharia a dominant state again, we can't fight the modern state and can't overcome it. So I think uh, let's read it this again and. See.